Hey guys, it's Danny, and today I'm here to do my March favorites. Um, March is my favorite month because it's my birthday month. Um, so I figured it would be a great month to get back into my favorites. Um, the first things that I have are makeup items. And the I actually bought this this month, but I bought it in the beginning of the month, and I've been using it like crazy. I know it came out for Valentine's Day. Um... It is the Too Faced Sweethearts Perfect Flush Blush in Something About Berry. It's a cute box. Um, I swirl all the colors together and I put it on my face and it gives me a nice flushed look. Um, it is pretty pigmented, um, so you have to be a little bit careful with it or it will kind of make you look a little clowny. Um, second thing that I have here is I got a new mas uh, eyelash curler, not mascara wand. And it is the tart one. Um, it came with a mini mascara, but I hate that mascara, so that is not my favorites. This is. Um, this is probably my third one of these. I like it. It doesn't... Some eyelash colors hurt me. I don't know if it's because I don't know how to use them properly or what, but this is my favorite one that I've used. And the next things are eyeliners. One is from Revlon. It's the Photo Ready Kajal. 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 Eyeliner in Carbon Cleopatra. This one has two colors on it. One is a black, which is a really intense black, and the other one is for eye brightening, and it is a whitish color. It's more paley, so it doesn't look like when you use a straight up white eyeliner and it looks kind of fake. But those are the two. Sorry, that's a stain from another video from Influencer Box. Um, but yeah, those are the two colors on this eyeliner. The other eyeliner that I like is the Sephora Waterproof in Summer Cruise number 23. And these are, this is just a smooth glidey pencil. It is a bright blue. I wear this when I wear a neutral eye and I just put this underneath on my lower lash line um, on the outer corner and it just brightens up your look, makes it a little more interesting than just a neutral. The last thing I have for makeup, well kind of makeup, is Burt's Bees Beeswax Lip Balm. This is my favorite one, it's just the original one. It has a little minty flavor to it, it moisturizes your lips, you don't have to reapply it like crazy and it's natural so it's something that I feel comfortable going if some gets in my mouth, which I have that issue. Um, another thing I have here for beauty is coconut oil. Um, I use coconut oil for everything. I'm very sanitary with it, so I can use it for multiple uses. Um, I use it for my hair. I use it as a moisturizer. I use it for makeup removal. Um... I just love coconut oil. I put it if I make scrubs. And it lasts a long time. It's cheap. I mean, I think this was $7.99 or $8.99 from Trader Joe's. It's organic. It's just a great product. Another thing I have in here on the oil front is Macadamia Healing Oil Treatment. Um, I used to use this a while ago. I fell out of love with it because it just kind of gets expensive if you use it every day. Um... But it helps my hair grow, especially since I bleach my hair so often or change the color of it. Um, this is just something that I probably need to keep as a staple. Um, it smells good. It works good. I love the hair mask, too. I use that um, probably once a week. But that's in my shower. Another thing I have here was a present I got for Valentine's Day, which might sound kind of weird. It is the Skin Pal Series. So I was falling out. Um, extraction kit. And I got, my boyfriend got it for me, but it's from Amazon. And it's the huge professional stainless steel kit. Um, I am aesthetically trained, so I know how to use all of these properly without damaging the skin or face. And I, I have a weird obsession with extracting blackheads, and he knows that, so he got it for me. The last two beauty-ish items I have in here from Mario Badescu skincare. One is 
firm, celly firm drops. And the other is Celiform, Celiform Moisturizer. Um, I use this in conjunction with each other. So first I put on the drops and then I put on the moisturizer and it just makes my skin not dry. I have a really dry skin type and I need a lot of moisture in order to keep it not getting flaky or gross so these two products work really well and they're not as expensive as other skincare lines so I feel comfortable repurchasing these. The last couple things that I have in here are just random lifestyle things. Um, my favorite drink is Smart Water. Um, I just like the taste of it. I like that it has electrolytes in it. It's not expensive like other water. I mean Water can get expensive, like if you get Fiji or Evian or whatever. This one's not that expensive. Um, water is my favorite drink. Tea is my second favorite. Coffee is my third. I stay away from soda. I don't like soda. Um, it gives me headaches and it just, to me, tastes gross. Um, so pretty much all the time I'm drinking water or tea. The other thing I have here in conjunction with tea is my favorite mug. It's from the Disney store and it's the Eve mug from Wally. Um, the only inconvenient thing about it is that to wash it, you can't really fit your hand in it to wash it. So you have to let it soak and stuff and cleaning it's kind of a pain in the butt, but it's just so cute. It's so cute. And I love that movie and Disney and <sighs> I hurt this mug. Another thing I have in here, which might be weird, is salon paws. Um, I get made fun of by my friends and my boyfriend because I use these so often, and this is like an older lady, older man product. Um, but I have a back issue um, with my sacroiliatic joint. It's not aligned correctly, and I have a lot of issues with it, especially when I'm working eight and a half hours and standing on my feet. Um, and this seems to be the only thing... <laughs> That helps because I don't take me I don't like taking medication, um, and they smell kind of really gross, um, like a menthol, like Tiger Bomb ish smell, but it just works so good. And you really have to be careful about wearing them too, um, because I overuse them and it can hurt your skin. <laughs> um, the, they have like adhesive on them that you stick to your back and if you keep using them in the menthol it will like make your skin really dry and itchy and it hurts but um, if you don't overuse them it works really well for pain um, especially if you don't like taking ibuprofen or things like that that's why I use them um, and my last favorite of the month is the show Fringe um, we have gone <laughs> through three seasons in a month, which is kind of ridiculous. Um, we watch, this is going to sound bad, we watch like a disc a night and we haven't been going to bed until like two or three o'clock in the morning and then waking up early. Um, but this is an older show. It is so good, especially if you like sci-fi or like, kind of reminds me of NCIS or oh, it's just... It's so good. It's like a crime fighting supernatural show. It has the guy from Dawson's Creek in it. Um, Walter is like the most adorable dad character ever. Um, I just love the show. You have to try it. Um, if things freak you out though, like blood and guts and viruses and people being sick, then might want to stay away from it but if you like thrillery sci-fi that stuff doesn't bother you great show and that is my last favorite of the month um so I'll probably try to keep making videos today I just filmed a bunch of them because I this was the time that I had um today I don't have work or anything so it was just easier to just get them all done um and I missed making videos and posting and everything. So hopefully I can continue to make a schedule and be able to keep filming. I'm not going to make any promises. My life is kind of hectic. Um, 
with classes and working full time and kind of work in a household, making dinners and laundry and cooking and cleaning and it's hard to continue a regular schedule, but I will try to for you guys. Um, sorry that I haven't been very consistent, but I hope you guys have a good day and a good weekend and a great month or whenever you watch this. So have a great day, guys. Bye.